Hi, welcome to episode 233 of your favorite daily podcast, A Couple of Things, a podcast about things. On today's episode, I want to talk about changing seasons. It's supposed to be the end of summer, the beginning of fall in the Netherlands, and it has been making me think about the changing of seasons. I not look like literal changing of seasons, but like metaphorical <laughs> season changing. Okay, let's get into it. Right, so when the seasons change, we have summer, winter, fall, and spring, not in that order, but (laughs) those are the four seasons um, in many countries that are, that have (laughs) four seasons, although in other countries, they have like two or three seasons, Um, like in Nigeria, I think we just have dry and rainy season, or something like that i don't remember i should have paid more attention in geography and social science class or science class but anyway um but i've been noticing the leaves have been browning already um you can see them falling already as well which is a clear sign that fall is on the way and then you can also see that yeah it's starting to rain a bit um like yesterday it rained the whole day and that is also maybe not the whole day but most of the day that is also a sign of fall um in spring when it's almost spring you start to see the sun come out more um flowers are blooming and so on and so forth and another thing that you see in fall is that the sun starts to set earlier and rise later because in summer that's also when it's almost summer when it's summer you start to notice that we're having um longer days and shorter nights the sun starts to rise really early and then it will set as late as 10 p.m 11 p.m and in some places in the world like some parts of norway sometimes the sun sets for only like like an hour but anyway these are the physical signs that help you know the changing of the seasons and then you know that oh it's time to bring out my um fall clothing i need to start layering up i need to and then as you get into november september um october november late october november december when the the all the trees are now bare then you know that okay it's winter jacket time sometimes it may snow and so on and so forth so like there's signals from nature basically to let us know that seasons are changing we need to change up the things that we do so it's time to bring out your winter jacket it's time to bring out your pantyhose your fleece leggings your boots um it's time to turn on your heating and when it's summer and spring the opposite time to bring out your shorts and your camis and your sandals and slippers and so on and so forth turn turn off your heating blah 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 so where am i going with this now except for specific real like in our lives as not things in nature like (laughs) trees um there are very few times where we have very clear demarcations of seasons and even at that it's not universal for everybody so for example the average middle class nigerian is what i'll use as an example changing of seasons can look like you go to primary school when you go to secondary school that's a new season and when you go to university that's another season and when you finish university and go into the workplace another season and that is usually what it looks like for the average middle class nigerian although that seems to not exist anymore um the middle class i mean because nigeria has had terrible leaders but i'm diverging <laughs> from my point um but that's not even the case for everybody because some people don't go to university. Some people marry before they go to university. Some people marry in university. Some people marry after. So like, but yeah, sometimes we have these clear events that demarcates like this is a change of season for a person. So you become a parent, you become a husband or a wife, you become a grandparent, like you go to school you go and do masters you do undergraduate like degree like all these things are some form of markers of seasons changing right um but then there are other times where our seasons can change or like you move to a new country for example that's also another season is changing but there are times where it's not so clear and we don't have these signals 
like you would have for oh you're now going to university or you're now going to do your masters or you're now getting married or you're now becoming a parent because like however you become a parent whether um by birth adoption surrogacy whatever there are things you do to prepare right you start preparing you go to the doctor you have your visits you buy start buying baby stuff you make a a nursery for the baby those kinds of things right same way as in in when it's almost winter you start to bring out your winter clothing you turn on your heating blah 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 but then i just wonder about or i've been wondering given the current changing of seasons that i'm observing um what does that look like in times where it's not so clear that oh this is a new season like nothing outward is actually happening to let you know that oh okay where we were before and how we were before is not where we are now like something has shifted and it's time for behaviors to change it's time for us to start doing different things time for us to start doing new things and that can be quite difficult to um ascertain in some instances and i don't have the answer like the only answer i have is from a faith-based perspective which is like from a relationship with god from communion with him you can get insights as like okay this is the as we'll say in <laughs> the season you're in and what it requires what you need to do what you need to stop doing and so on and so forth but outside of that and for other scenarios it's kind it can be hard because sometimes you may not be going to start a new job or um going to do a master's degree but your life is changing you're changing there's things about you like you're shedding old skin basically but we may not even realize and we may miss out on how to actually best behave and prepare for that season um so that's just what's on my mind today i hope (laughs) this made sense to you (laughs) and thank you for listening bye also ask me questions submit a question submit a question thank you (laughs) thank you for listening to today's episode of a couple of things if there was anything you found interesting or insightful or you enjoyed the episode please do share to someone or multiple people like leave a comment and definitely do subscribe and all the nice things bye